Avocados. They're fast becoming a popular food item all across the world, and Kenya is quickly becoming one of Africa's top exporters of the crop. But it takes a lot to get an avocado fresh from the tree and ready for shipping overseas. We've come to one of the country's biggest processing plants to see how it's done. Let's go take a look. Avocados are a delicate fruit and the processing has to begin shortly after they leave the tree. The avocados on this truck were picked this very morning. But before they can go into the pack house to begin to be prepared for overseas shipment, they have to be weighed so the farmer knows how much has been brought in to the market. Now the overseas markets that Kenya ships to can be quite selective about the sort of fruit that they want to import. That's why when the avocados come in from the orchards, they need to be washed clean of any kind of dirt or debris. This water bath will make sure that there's no dirt left on the fruit before they get sorted for size. The fruits are now floating their way into the pack house itself. We've come at the height of harvest season, which is why this area is a hive of activity. All around us, workers are scrambling to get this freshly picked green gold down the line and onto the trucks in time. The overseas markets that Kenya ships to prefer large fruit with substantial size. This machine lifts the big fruits out of the water while allowing the smaller ones to fall through the crack and float away where they're diverted to the domestic market. Phytosanitary requirements in the avocado expert game are fierce. Disinfectant ensures that no microbes are carried on the skin of the avocado and passed on overseas. This machine sprays them with these two jets of an ozone-based disinfectant to make sure the entire fruit is clean and free of pathogens before being shipped. Now, these cleaned and sanitized fruits are coming off the assembly line and proceeding to quality control. These ladies are sorting through the avocados to make sure there's no bruising, discoloration, signs of spoilage, or pest infestation. The ones that pass the test go on for sizing and sorting. The ones that get rejected are diverted. After that, the avocados are lined up in single file using this ingenious little mechanized trough. But as you can see, they're still mixed up in a jumbled range of sizes. So they're fed onto these individually weighted platforms that drop the fruits onto conveyor belts based on their precise weight. That allows workers to conveniently box them up into equally portioned cartons with different numbers of fruit in each. Before refrigeration, each box is given an identifying sticker recording the exact field and orchard where they were picked. That way, if any evidence of pests or plant disease emerges later on, it can be traced back to the source. And this is the last stage of the avocado's journey, the cold room, where their temperature is reduced to a carefully regulated 4.5 degrees Celsius. And they'll stay at that temperature for the rest of their journey on the truck, on the ship, and eventually on a supermarket shelf in Europe or elsewhere in the world. Daniel Plafker at Kakuzi Farms in Makuyu, Kenya for CGTN.